Okay, so this is a question from Rasmi Halliday. Uh, to protect his food from hungry bears, a boy scout raises his food pack with a rope that is thrown over a tree limb at height h above his head. He walks away from the vertical rope with a constant velocity v boy, holding the free end of the rope in his hand. Show that the speed v of the food pack is x times x square plus h square raised to the power of minus half times v boy where x is the distance he has walked away from the vertical rope. So while we are uh, solving this problem, I would like to rephrase this problem in a different scenario so that it is more easy and perhaps give you a further clue or perhaps give you a further idea of how to solve these kind of problem. Uh, the situation is drawn over here. Uh, let us suppose that we have a pulley pulley at height h. Suppose we have a pulley at height h and load y meters below from the sixth pulley. So we have this height h we have the load here at y, this distance over here is y, this distance over here is L and suppose someone is pulling this along the x direction in this direction over here. So what we have to find out, suppose we want to find out if dx by dt or suppose the velocity in the x direction is given what is the velocity in the y direction? This is essentially the same problem as what is given over here from the Rasmi Halliday book. So what we know is v is equal to dy by dt. This is what we have to find out. Now, I want you to take a moment and think about this. At this moment, the length of the rope is L plus Y. After time delta T, suppose this position is delta X now. That is now this distance is X plus delta X. The load is now risen above and this distance is delta Y over here. So this distance is delta Y and this distance now is L plus delta L. Now, what we know is, if the rope length was L plus Y, after delta T, also the length should be L plus Y. So what it means is, L plus delta L plus Y minus delta Y, which is the length of the rope after delta T taken, should be equal to L plus Y. So L cancels here, Y cancels here, and we are left with delta L is equal to delta Y. So what this implies is that in delta T time, delta L changes by same amount as delta Y, which we can also uh, guess from here that if rope has risen by delta Y here, then this length should have increased by delta y. So what we can say in more mathematical form is that dl by dt that is the length of the rate of the, the rate of the change of the length of l is same as <coughs> I'm sorry dy by dt which is what we have to find. Now dl by dt can be written as dl by dx times dx by dt. Now this velocity is the velocity in the x direction which is constant. So this is given to be v boy. So what we have is v is equal to v boy 
times dl by dx. Now, to solve dl by dx, what we know from Pythagoras theorem is l square is equal to x square plus x square or we can write l is equal to positive square root of h square plus x square. Now, this is simple problem of finding the differential of l with respect to x. So this becomes 1 by 2 root x square plus x square times 2x is equal to x upon x square plus h square. So finally what we have is v is equal to over here v boy. v boy times dl by dx which is x upon square root of x square plus h square. So this is the answer of part A. So for finding the part B, we have to find the acceleration. Now again we know acceleration is nothing but the rate of change of velocity. So we have A is equal to dv by dt. Now dv by dt can be written as dv by dx times dx by dt and dx by dt is known so we can write acceleration as v boy times dv by dx. Now we know v as a function of x so we have to find dv by dx dv by dx can be done from the uh, division rule or the quotient quotient rule as it is called it is v by boy because v boy is function so we are taking it out then root of x square plus x square times the differentiation of x which is 1 minus x times differentiation of root of x square plus x square which we have already done before is x times x square plus h square this whole thing divided by whole thing divided by the square of this one which is nothing but x square plus x square and we can simplify this uh, this can be simplified to if we multiply this this expression over here by root x square plus x square so we get v boy times x square plus h square x square plus h square minus x square which is over here divided by root of x square plus h square so this cancels out and finally dv by dx can be written as v boy times h square divided by x square plus h square to the power 3 half. So this is dv by dx and acceleration is v boy acceleration is v boy times dv by dx so a is equal to h square v boy square divided by x 
square plus x square times to the power 2 half. So this is our acceleration rate. So now coming to the part C of the problem, what values do the acceleration and velocity have shortly after he leaves the point under the pack, that is when x is equal to 0. So for finding velocity and acceleration at x is equal to 0, what we have to do is simply plug the value of x equal to 0 in this equation and we can see that v will be equal to 0 and acceleration would be x square times v boy square times h square to the power 3 half which is equal to this is equal to h cube so h square by h cube is equal to 1 by h v boy square divided by h. So at x is equal to 0, velocity is 0 and acceleration is v boy square divided by h. Okay, and to solve the part D of the problem, what values do the facts velocity and acceleration approach as the distance x continues to increase. So what we have to find is what happens to the velocity v and acceleration a if x approaches infinity, that is it increases. So we can write the velocity expression as below. I have just divided the whole thing by, that is I have taken the x in the numerator to the denominator and this is what the velocity expression will look like. So what we see is as x approaches to infinity, this term over here, h by x, this approaches 0. So what we have is 1 plus 0 and square root of 1. So this v will simply approach v boy. Similarly, what will happen to acceleration? Acceleration expression can be written as x square v boy square. Now taking x square out of this factor. So we have x square 3 by 2 here. And what we have is this expression over here. This expression over here will reduce to 1 because h by x will reduce to 0. So 1 times 1 to the power 3 by 2 is 1. So what we'll be left with is h square v by v boy square h square v boy square divided by x square to the power 3 halves which is same as h square v square boy divided by and this ex expression over here will anyway reduce to 1. So as x approaches infinity, what will happen to this expression over here? This expression will go towards 0 because over here is a constant term and x is a very very large term so it will keep on reducing and A will finally approach to 0. 